Mail's early. That socks and underpants sale ends at six. Oh, look at this, La Casto's. Uh, remember that fancy restaurant we went to last year when I was nominated for the Podiatry Award? They say it's been a year since we visited their restaurant and will we be their guests this Saturday for a complimentary dinner? Appetizers, cocktails and dessert. How do they know it's been a year? <laughs> they know more about us than we do. Well, do you want to go? Well, you can't beat the price, eh? Ha. Oh, the space. Good. Uh, pull over there. <laughs> There's a parking space in front of the space. <laughs> I guess there's fresh socks and underpants in our future. These are my size, but it says they have a balloon seat. Maybe they're for people with extra large bottoms. But here's a picture of footballer Dex Wesley on the label. He doesn't have a large bottom at all. The gentleman has a good eye for underwear. What's this balloon seat? And why do they have a picture of Dex Wesley on the label? The balloon seat is a comfort feature for the over 35 gentlemen. I think you'll find these meet your needs. Extra material in the seating, and with the small to medium pouch, less punching and binding. Maybe it's best. So how did those tees and walking shorts work out for you? Huh? The last time we were here. Are you still at 16 Halifax Street? Does it matter? And your credit card number is 4500. Yeah, maybe a little louder. I don't think that fellow over there stuffing sweat socks down the front of his trousers quite heard you. <laughs> oh, sign here. Enjoy your briefs, Mr. Fish. I'm sure you'll find they give you all the space you need. Uh, are they a clothing store or the FBI? Oh, great. Yeah, what kind of an idiot would park so close? What am I supposed to do? Float out of here? You drive, I'll direct you. Come on. Forward. All right. Backward. Stop. Now left. Left? Right. Right? Yes, left. A little more. Stop! You, you should have said stop. I did say stop. You were going too fast. I wasn't going faster than the speed of sound, Margaret. I mean, I would have heard you if you'd said stop in time for anyone with normal human reactions to react. Well, obviously you were going too fast. You hit the car. Um, excuse me. Oh, how's it going? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I gave your front end a, a bit of a whacking. <laughs> oh, here's my business card. Uh, I'm a dentist. Um, here's my license. I, I have my insurance in here somewhere. Forgot about it. Uh, I suppose we should call the police. Uh, I say, it's fine. Forget the police. Well, here, take my card. <laughs> Why aren't they more like him around, eh? Decent guy, doesn't talk your ear off, doesn't get all worked up over nothing. Oh, great. This is all we need. You want to do driver or passenger side? Mm, I don't care. Okay, well, who took the driver last time? <laughs> I really don't care. You take the driver. No problem. Good evening, sir. <laughs> is there anything the matter, officer? Are you aware of the damage to the rear end of your car, oh, sir? Well, uh, yes, actually. It's silly, really. May um, I see your license, insurance, and registration, Oh, oh yeah, please? certainly. Yeah, here you go. You see, a, a fellow had his boxed in, and we, we just couldn't get out. Uh, he was blocking the fire hydrant, too. Uh-huh. Did you get the number of the other driver? I did. I, I wrote it down. I'll take that, ma'am. Now, I'll just give you a warning this time, but you be sure to get that fixed. Oh, yes, officer. Right away, sir. <laughs> You have a nice day now. Oh, don't worry. You won't be seeing us again. <laughs> if you wanted to take the driver window, you should have said so. We could have had a conversation. Hello? Oh, yes. Is something wrong? Oh, sure. What is it, Bob? The police. They wanted to drop by the station in half an hour. <gasps> Thanks for coming down on such short notice. Oh, uh, always glad to help the police. <laughs> we checked the license number you gave us, and it belongs to a ruthless career criminal. R ruthless? What does that mean, exactly? He sent more people for a dirt nap than the Black Plague. He says he wasn't using his car that night, but there was a series of break-ins in the area, sporting goods, appliances, that sort of thing. And if you can identify him, we can place him at the scene. Is this... Uh, is this like a lineup, like you see on the telly? More or less. Will they be able to see us? Oh, of course not, Margaret. They, they use two-way mirrors. Something like that. 
We've been trying to nail this guy for a long time. We organize our lineups from people who look roughly the same as the suspect, so we want you to take your time. Okay, send them in. Look, ah, there he is. Just wait till everyone's in. And like I said, take your time. That's him. Number three. Hey, kill that. Oops. Oh, sorry. Oh. What if he saw us? Don't worry. He'll be behind bars for a long, long time. Uh, are you sure? Absolutely. Come on. We'll have you sign a few forms, and then you can be on your way. Don't worry about anything, really. You're perfectly safe. You finally did it, huh? You nailed Mad Dog Malone. Mm, mm, Mad Dog Malone? Ah! Don't worry. Like I said, he hasn't got a snowball's chance in hell of getting bail. So just go home, relax, and forget about it. They call him Mad Dog, for heaven's sake. Well, maybe it's just a harmless nickname. So's Budgiekins, but they're not calling him Budgiekins Malone, are they? It is. <gasps> he, he got bail. He got out quicker than we did. I think he saw us. That doesn't matter, Margaret. He has our address. I, I gave him my card. Oh, God, he's going to try and eliminate us. We're the only witnesses against him. Well, he's not going to eliminate us over a set of golf clubs and a blender. <laughs> he got bail. Mad Dog got bail. Sheesh, that shows to go, yeah. Um, but but don't worry. You're, you're going to get all the protection you need. All right, you're all set now. Uh, just punch in your code when you go out, and you got 30 seconds to punch it in again when you return. You press 11, that cuts off the motion detectors and uh, just covers the windows and the doors. And this here is your panic button in case of emergencies. We'll send you the bill. Thanks for thinking Securicom, and good luck. What did he mean by that? Oh, it's just an expression. He sounded ominous. Well, I'm sure the alarm system's a good idea anyway. But you're making me nervous. Oh, bloody hell, they've gotten out. Oh, we have to find them. Wait, let me punch in the code. Going out for a walk? For the love of night, Trevor, turn that thing off. See, you got a new alarm system. Did you just get some big ticket items? Big screen TV? Stereo? Listen, they'll steal them as soon as look at them. It's William and Elizabeth. They've got out. Yeah, thought I saw him darting around the corner a minute ago. Well, thanks for sharing. Hey, I said thought. We'll help you look. You go with Margaret. Come on, Bob, we'll have a look-see. William, Elizabeth, here, boy. Here, go. Trevor and I have been thinking about selling and moving out of town, but nowhere safe. They could be watching us now, timing our movements. That's why we keep the front of our place a little run-down looking. Those big brass numbers of yours, like me on the crooks. William! I think he's worried for nothing. Your chances of getting killed are low to relatively low. Oh my god, Elizabeth! That your dog, lady? We just found her. She's a nice dog. You wouldn't want nothing to happen to her. Who's that? That was Mad Dog in the back of the van. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Was it? Oh, dear. Well, I'm pretty sure it was him. Uh, have you ever seen Mad Dog? Well, no. <sighs> Bob Fish, 16 Halifax Street. Is there someone in your house now? Uh, no. But there was someone in your house? No. Well, I'm not sure what... We're witnesses. You know, somebody could be trying to rub us out. I mean, they already returned our dog. Returned your... Right. Look, uh, we'll have a squad car take a couple extra passes by your house tonight. You know, check on things. Okay? Sound good? Oh, thanks, officer. Thank you very much. Fifteen two, fifteen four, and a pair of six. All this worrying is making me thirsty. So everything's all right? They're going to have a squad car make a couple of extra... Oh! Don't answer it. It could be a ploy to see if we're home. Bob, I'm frightened. They could have cut the wire. Why would they cut the wires while they were calling us? Oh, 
The criminal mind, Margaret, is diabolical. We have to provide our own protection. First off, we cut way back on feeding the dogs. Why? Make them meaner. <laughs> this will give him a little surprise if he tries to come in this way. What about the dogs? What are the dogs going to be doing on the windowsills? They'll be in bed with us. Don't answer it. Hello? Oh, yes. Uh, can you hold on? Uh, it's the Castos, uh, confirming our reservation for Saturday night. Remember? The invitation. Margaret, we're fighting for our lives here. Oh, they'll have found him by then. And I'm not going to live as a prisoner in my own house. Yes, we'll be there. Uh, thank you. Well, he won't be sneaking up on us. <laughs> oh, you're really scaring me. Well, welcome to the real world, Margaret. We are being stalked by a ruthless predator. 